Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. About half a year ago, I did a makeup review of some lipsticks that were made in Edmonton by the company Celeste Lipsticks. You can check out my reviews up here. But recently, they kind of relaunched everything and they changed from being Celeste Lipsticks to Celeste Cosmetics. So I purchased three different of their revamped products to try out. I purchased their highlighter, lipstick, and bronzer to try out. They also have a lip balm and an eye cream. So starting with the lipstick, you get 1.7 grams of product. It's made in Canada. They're actually not only made in Canada and made in Edmonton specifically, but they're also 100% natural, cruelty-free, and vegan. Here's a look at the ingredients in the lipstick, and they had six colors of lipstick. I purchased number four. The packaging comes in these little sleek white tubes, very elegant packaging. And this retailed for $20 for this 1.7 gram tube. Not only is it a lipstick, they do call it a cheeky lip, so you're supposed to be able to use it on your lips and your cheeks, so multi-purpose. One of the things that they really pride themselves on is you being able to read the ingredient list. So if we take another look at the ingredients list, if something has a weird name, in brackets they put what it actually is. So like coconut or strawberry flavor, they kind of break it down for you so that it's simple and you know exactly what's in all your products, which is a really cool idea. Next is the highlighter. Again, 1.7 grams, identical packaging, and it cost $20. I picked the shade one, and the highlighter actually comes in three different shades. This sort of creamy whitish shade, also a more pink shade, and more of a copper shade as well. And finally, the bronzer, same deal, same very similar ingredients, same packaging, and the bronzer only comes in one universal shade. So today I am already wearing my base and my eyes, so we're going to put on highlighter, blush, bronzer, and lipstick with these tools. I do really love the packaging, I think it's great, but again, one small thing, especially if you had multiple colors, is there's no labels of colors on the packaging, so if you bought a bunch of different colors, you'd have to go through each tube and take the lid off, which is kind of a bummer. But they just relaunched, so maybe that kind of little details are still in the works. Alright, so I think we should probably start with bronzer. It's a very uh, red-based shade. I'm going to use my beautiful Base in Me contour brush to blend it in. I was a little bit freaked out when I first pulled it out of the box because the shade is so like intense. And it even goes on the skin kind of intense. I mean, it's not a contour, it really is a bronzer, and it does really kind of warm up your skin in a really nice sun-kissed way. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I actually like it a lot more than I first expected. I don't know what's going on up here. I think I have a scratch. It blends away really nicely, but it also like doesn't disappear, which I really like, especially in a cream product. You can really see a nice warmth from the skin, so if you're into bronzers, I think you would really like this, and I think it's a really flattering, warm, but almost pinkish and not orange at all shade, so I really like that. It also, they all kind of smell the same. They smell a little bit like strawberry, which you can see on the ingredients. This one smells like coconut strawberry, especially. This was more like chocolate strawberry, which... It's quite delightful. So let's paint on some highlight. It's almost a like frosted highlight. And I was thinking it will look a little bit translucent, but it actually does look pretty like white when you draw it on the skin. Can you see that there? Let me swatch the bronzer for you as well. Again, the highlighter just kind of 
like I can definitely see it on the skin, but it really looks very skin-like. It just kind of like blends in really nicely. This one I would say definitely if you have darker skin, maybe skip number one and go on to a darker shade. Here now is the lipstick. More red version of the bronzer. They're quite similar in terms of the depth of the color. The lipstick's just a little bit more of like a muted red versus a brown color, so. That went on really nicely, completely opaque. My lips are pretty dry today and it covered everything. This is so much better than the previous lipsticks I've tested for them. Definitely feels a little bit less creamy on the lips. It feels quite thin on the lips, which I mean, I wouldn't mind a little bit more moisture, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Now for a little bit of blush. And I just want a tiny bit more highlighter. I really want to get it popping. All right, I think number four lipstick is such a great color for me. I think it's a beautiful kind of nudish, dusty rose color, which does look quite different in the tube. In the tube, it looks almost a little bit deeper. Even the swatch looked a little bit deeper than it does on my lips. So I'm gonna do a quick dusting of powder because if I don't powder, I tend to melt quite quickly. All right, let's pop over to Natural Light and see how it looks, and then I'm gonna wear test all three of these products for the next 12 hours and see how they perform. Let's get started here. I think my bullet came out. All right guys, it's the end of the night. The highlight looks good. It'll, I think it looks better over time. Like the more I wear it, the more I was like, oh God, it's looking so good. When I first put it on, I was like, mm, it's so subtle, I don't know. But throughout the day, I could really notice it glowing and it just looks like skin. Even though like out of the tube, it looks kind of frosted. It's really good, I really like it. The bronzer as well, I felt so super glowy and usually I never go bronzed. But I just thought this undertone worked so well for my skin tone. I thought it was just beautiful it smells good um it was easy to blend in it was just so fuss free and it lasted and lasted and you would think that such a crazy color wouldn't look good on like such pale skin but again because of that undertone of it just being so brown and so red without being orange it just really works it's almost like a really deep red blush almost and the lipstick so bad news the lipstick actually oh, so the lipstick actually fell out of the tube you might have noticed on my last check-in that it kind of broke out and although I've been testing them for a while I hadn't really been traveling with them so this is the first day that I had the lipstick with me in my bag all day. They are very, very delicate. So that is not great news. They are very delicate. Um, you probably don't want to be too rough with it. I'm pretty rough with my stuff. Maybe it's just this particular one was um, a little bit looser in the tube. Color-wise, you can see it kind of is holding on still to my lips. I just felt the formula wasn't the best for my dry lips. Um, I felt like it really covered the texture wall. 
feel like it's incredibly easy to put on like you just kind of half put it on and then bam it's all over your lips exactly where it's supposed to be it's like a velvet finish like it's very meh but it's got a tiny bit of shine at the same time and it covers all my dry flakes and everything really well but I feel like on the lips it's just a little bit too dry for me to wear comfortably without going over it with like a lip gloss or something because it kind of like saves it and like breathes life back into it gives you the moisture that maybe your lips are craving I do feel like if you have normal not so dry lips the formula would probably be fine it's really lightweight and kind of not powdery but kind of a dry formula um, where where I think it works really well as a blush I, again just like the bronzer I loved having it on my cheeks it wore incredibly well all day it's such a natural beautiful color to be honest I love the color on my lips as well I think it works great with my eyes and um, my hair and everything I think it's decently long-lasting for a regular lipstick like doesn't claim to be super long wearing but yeah I definitely think it works much better as a cheek product than it does on the lips and overall I'm really impressed with these products especially if you view them as just complexion products I think my cheek area my blush everything was just like extra good today like I said it wore really wear well I was just wearing my regular HD double wear on my face today I touched my face a lot today I was coloring with cats today and yeah everything held on super super well I think it looked really great now they are $20 which is quite expensive considering you only get 1.7 grams of product um, to compare that with something like Rihanna's matchstick um, these are about $11.70 per gram uh, Rihanna's matchsticks are about $4 per gram benefits what's up is about $4 a gram and like a MAC lipstick if you're comparing lipsticks are about $7 a gram so they are quite expensive that being said, obviously they are not a huge company. They are made locally, manufactured locally. Like obviously these things cost money and um, personally I do not feel bad about supporting local. So I think it was $60 well spent and I would easily recommend any of them. I love that they had multiple highlight colors. I love that they had um, a nice selection of lip colors. I would definitely want to try some of the other colors. I know my grandma loved the old Celeste, which was the pink one that I tried. And she loved that one. So I think she was kind of dis disappointed when they like relaunched because they got rid of that color. But uh, hopefully she will like the new formula and there's a color that will match closely so that she can also keep supporting locally. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about Celeste, what you think about this new packaging. Check out their website. If you're Canadian, again, really consider supporting them and shopping here in Canada. I've also done some other videos on Canadian brands, um, Ton Lipsticks, which are out east, as well as Cheekbone Beauty. So you can check out my videos up here. Oh, and also the Glam Pod, which is another Alberta product. If you want to see more Canadian beauty stuff, let me know. Give me some suggestions down below if you know of a small local company doing something and you want me to check it out. Let me know what you think. And aside from that, you guys, um, I will see you all in my next video. A huge shout out to my patrons. This video was pretty much funded by this month's um, Patreon money. So again, thank you guys so much. Your support means so much to me. Purchasing all this makeup can get quite expensive. Also time, equipment, editing, you know, all that stuff costs money. So it's really encouraging that other people are as invested in this type of content as I am. If you want to watch more content from me, hit that subscribe down below. Give this video a like and with that, I'm gonna get out of here. So uh, yeah, bye guys.